Just a few weeks ago, Captain Joe Raymakers could barely breathe. I did have some some respiratory problems, just very just tired and, and hard to catch your breath. Now he and his wife Sarah, who was also infected with COVID-19, are healthy again and giving the gift of life. It was pretty early on uh, that, that we contracted the, the virus, so we're kind of recovering before, you know, before some other people. So there wasn't a lot of people don donating plasma at the time. And today I was very, I was anxious, excited, a little nervous because I'd never done it. We started collecting plasma from patients who had recovered from COVID-19 last month. Pete Lux says convalescent plasma therapy has never been done before to this scale in the United States. The donor who had COVID and has recovered, those antibodies can be used to fight the virus in someone else. It can reduce the severity of their symptoms and it can help in their recovery. COVID-19 patients must be symptom-free for 28 days before they can sit down in these chairs here. Now this is the plasma that's donated here while the red blood cells are pumped back into the donor and that allows them to come back and donate their plasma more often. Right now we're looking at once a week for four weeks. A hundred COVID survivors have already donated here and with every transfusion, more lessons emerge. We have found that people who have symptoms have a higher level of antibodies. The Raymakers say they plan to keep on giving their plasma for as long as they can. This is such an easy thing for me to do to help somebody get through that tough experience that I just felt I had a duty to, to help people. Making it their duty to help other COVID-19 patients recover. In Davenport, Yang Wen, WQAD News 8.